If your PC is crashing, showing 100% disk usage, or perhaps your start menu and settings are not opening correctly, or worse, your PC is so slow it's driving you nuts, <coughs> then I've got the perfect solution for you, and it's absolutely free, and anyone can do it. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Now to fix these issues, we do need to use the command line, and I covered all of these commands in another video which you can check out up here. However, the command line can be a little bit daunting and tedious for some users, so I made a tool which automates the whole process, runs all the tasks for you, and even does a bit more. But before we get started, check out our sponsor. Do all of your friends call you a loser for using a sus copy of Windows? Then stop being a zero and get ready to be a hero by getting a valid copy of Windows 10. With all the bells and whistles a future superstar like you needs, you might be thinking to yourself, Eh, Pro Edition costs $200, see? No. If you follow the link in the description to VIPCDKDeals.com, you can get yourself a Windows 10 Professional Edition for $22.50. Wow! You think that's great? Well, if you use coupon code NK25, you get 30% off. That brings the price of Windows 10 Professional to $15. Wow! All major payment methods accepted, including PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Once you have your license key, open Settings, then System, About, then Change Product Key. Simply copy and paste your new key and then click Next, and then you are Gucci, my friend. Now, in order to get access to this tool that I made, you're going to need to go to the link in description, and you want to make sure that it is github.com forward slash Nico Knows Tech. You don't want to go anywhere else. Don't follow links in the comments section. If you're being sent to any other link than this right here, then you're clearly not watching my video. You're watching a ripped off copy where someone's trying to infect you. Don't go to random people's GitHubs or websites and run scripts off them if you don't know who they are. So very cautious. Speaking of the script, it's right here. This is nktool.bat. It's 100% open source. Anybody who knows anything about computers can easily understand what's going on here. We're running basic uh, commands from the command line, similar to what I did in my other video. However, we're just automating it and we're also including a bit more text on screen so that you can see what's going on. The first thing that happens right here is that it's going to run it as administrator. This is to save you the trouble of what some people had problems with was opening the command prompt as administrator or having to right click on a batch file and then run it as administrator. All you got to do is double click on it, it makes it Simple. So that's what the whole point of this first part is. Next, it's going to give you a disclaimer. Even though these are basic built-in Windows tasks, we're not downloading any third-party apps, we're just running basic maintenance um, that every IT here knows, um, we have to say that we're not liable for any damage caused to your machine. Just because there's some people out there that will say, oh, I double-clicked on it and then, you know, my monitor caught fire. It doesn't do that, but we're not liable for it anyway. It's going to explain what it's going to do. First thing it's going to do is it's going to create a restore point, and that's just in case you don't like the results of this. I don't know why you wouldn't, but just in case anything goes wrong, you'll be able to go back to the way your computer was before you ever did this. So it's just always good practice to start with a restore point. And then it explains here the four tasks it's going to run. It's going to run the system file checker, which is going to check all your files in system 32, all your system files. It's going to compare them with Windows, and if there's anything wrong with them, it's going to try and automatically repair your system files. That solves 75% of Windows issues that are not malware related. If you have a malware problem, you're on the wrong video, check my channel. It's got 2 million views, easy to find. Next is going to do the Deployment Imaging and Service and Management Tool, or DISM. This is going to compare your Windows installation image with what Windows Update has and try to automatically repair any image uh, component problems. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to do temp file removal. These are the temporary files that are downloaded to your computer every time you visit a website, all the images, all the, all the pages there. Um, they're supposed to automatically be removed um, by Windows, but this is just going to clear them, give you some space, and help your performance a bit. Next, it's going to do Windows Update Reset. This is not going to reset your machine. It's just refreshing the Windows Update portion of Windows in case you're having problems updating Windows or you're having errors so there. It's just going to refresh it so that it's working right. After that, it's going to turn from yellow to green, the screen, and I'll show you because we're going to run it, and then you reboot your machine. So this is all the code. It's open source. You can ask Microsoft what these do, then you can ask any IT, any computer savvy person, and um, you'll be able to see exactly what it does, and there's no, there's no hidden magic going on here. Now to download the file, the files you're going to need, you're going to go right here to where the link in the description was, and this green button that says code, you're going to click that, and then download zip. I already have it right here. It's this Nikonos Tech-Main.zip. 
and you want to extract that, you can extract it anywhere. I'm going to put it on the desktop. Okay. And then we're going to go to the desktop. Now, once you extract the folder, go ahead and open the folder and you're going to see that we have these three files. The readme is literally just the welcome that was on uh, GitHub. And here's the instructions. Definitely read them because I don't know how much everybody's paying attention to this video. So here's the instructions. It's going to cover everything it's going to do and also the disclaimer. Okay. And then to start the tool, all you got to do is double click on it. Now at this point, it's doing all the stuff we talked about. It's displaying the text, it's displaying what it's gonna do. Now, if you don't agree to that we're not liable for any damage this might cause to your machine, go ahead and close the window up here. Um, by continuing, you agree that I'm not liable. It's not gonna cause damage, it doesn't do that, but we, the lawyers say we have to say that. Okay, so to begin the tool, we go ahead and just hit enter. First thing it's doing is it's creating a restore point. Like I said, it does this just in case something goes wrong. Um, if something does go wrong, you can always go back to where your PC was literally two seconds before I started this sentence. All right, when it turns yellow, that means the tasks are running. First, it starts a system file checker. It's verifying all of your system files and it's going to automatically repair them if it can. It's very successful at this. It's not 100 and 10% uh, effective at it, but it'll let us know if it was successful. It's going to let us know if there was resource corruption and if it was able to fix it. It'll also tell us that it didn't find any. So it's a very great tool and everyone should know this one. But if you don't know anything about computers, just save this tool. It's free. It's for everybody. Everybody download it, keep it, give it to people. I don't care. I made it for you guys. All right. And it's about to complete here and it did not find any integrity violations, which is great. It sometimes will say it did find um, corruption and that it fixed it. And then if it didn't fix it, it'll tell you that. And then it'll give you a website to where you can try to solve it. But then it starts the DISM scan. I do two DISMs. First, we scan for image uh, corruption, where it's checking if it finds any component store issues, any problems with your Windows installation. And then based on that, it runs the repair after that. It's about almost finished. And then it's going to run the repair phase, which is just a different DISM command on the command line. It's doing it all automated so you don't have to know anything. And also, even ITs out there, this just makes it really simple to just run one batch and it runs all four or five of these tasks so you don't have to type them in there. So it's great for, um, for efficiency in the IT department as well. All right, it found no component store corruption detected. It's running the repair anyway, which is always a nice thing to do. It didn't find any problems during the scan, but it might've found something on yours. Either way, it's gonna run the repair after that, just to make sure your Windows installation matches what Windows Update has. Very great tool. All right, it also went really, really fast and deleted all of our temp files. That's all of the, the cookies and, and needless files. Um, that are in the temp file directories, super fetch. These are all things that you don't need, but are just, they accumulate over time. Windows is supposed to remove them, but we went ahead and removed them for you right here, just to get free up some space for you, oftentimes a lot of space, and also help your performance. Then it's gonna start, uh, it's gonna reset Windows Update, like I said in the beginning. It's just gonna refresh your Windows Update um, portion of Windows in case you're having any errors there. It doesn't hurt to do this. In fact, all of this script, you could run it 10 times a day. It doesn't hurt your machine. Um, it could only help, but you don't need to run it 10 times a day. Even once a day isn't needed. I would say run this once a week just to make sure. Um, this is a great thing to do right after you have a bad shutdown or your machine loses power um, or you just start seeing errors in your computer. Things aren't working as fast. Go ahead and run this. It takes about five to 10 minutes and you're done. It's great for PC maintenance. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter again okay that's all it's reset windows update and it's done all the tasks once the screen is green like this you're done everything's been done all the tasks have been completed successfully all you have to do now is reboot your machine and once your window turns green it's done all the tasks are completed successfully the only thing you have to do now is reboot your machine then come back to my channel and tell me how it worked out for you hope you found this video helpful if you like it please click like and consider subscribing you can also follow me on twitter and instagram and i will see you next time